Hello all, so in yesterday's video I talked about how I'd moved my shelves around um, and realigned where everything sort of is, well not everything, but sort of just changed the display of things. So I thought in, in this video I'd share in more detail what I've exactly done with my Lego shelves. So let's start this far left shelf, shall we? Um, this is basically what I'm calling Brand World. This is like where all my IP sets are, all like the uh, sets of licensed themes. So as you can see as we go down there, there's all different kinds of sets there. Um, at the bottom here we have uh, Marvel stuff. I've only got two Marvel sets, despite my love of Marvel, I've only actually got two Marvel sets. I want to grab some more. I've got the Daily Bugle set. Um, as you can see there's JJ and Spidey waving on the other side. JJ being one annoyed with him. Uh, the Sanctum Sanctorum here, um, that's the original Doctor Strange set with uh, Strange, the Ancient One, and... Oh, I've forgotten his name. Is he Baron Mordo? I think so, yes. And of course, the Lego Dimension, no, not Lego Dimensions, the uh, Lego Ideas Doctor Who set, which I definitely want to look into more. I absolutely adore Doctor Who, and specifically the 11th Doctor. Matt Smith is my favourite Doctor, so I've got this displayed with Clara and Matt Smith hard at work, and the 12th Doctor sort of just looking on, knowing his time is coming soon. I've even got the Daleks and the Weeping Angel sort of buying up the TARDIS. And up here, we have the Lego Simpsons house. I haven't got these guys so much displayed in like a specific way. They're sort of just a family or presented there. Um, these aren't the actual original minifigures that come with this set. These are the ones from the minifig collection of the Simpsons series they did, which I want to talk more about more. I want to make a whole video about the minifigs they made with this set. And Snowball and Santa's Little Helper didn't even come with this set. I had to buy those guys separately too. But um, I love the Simpsons anyway, so there it is. And over here are my Star Wars um, sets. I've only got two. I'm not a massive fan of Star Wars, but I have these two sets for uh, quite specific reasons. Firstly, I love BB-8. I just adore that design. I think he's such a well-made like a uh, robot. I'm just in love with him. So when they made this brick-built BB-8, I just had to get it. And he even comes with the little mini BB-8 there as well. And of course, I have the Yoda's Hut set here, which I've uh, edited myself. So if you're worth the Seagull song um, by Bad Lip Reading on YouTube, you know what this means. Um, I adore that thing. So my girlfriend, bless her, she loves it too. She got me this set when I was in hospital with my broken wrist. And I added some of the seagulls from the old fishing store to it as well. Even the part that's supposed to be on you, uh, Luke's back, I've added to Yoda's back there. So it looks like the seagull's attacking him. Um, I just really love that. That really makes me, chuck that, uh, that makes me chuckle every time I see it. And up here, we have the Beatles Yellow Submarine, which I've talked about before in the past. Um, the original RC, they just released the new RC, but this is the original one with the uh, crazy minifigs. Big fan of Toy Story, so I had to have that set. The micro as we discussed before, and the uh, Hobbitin set. Now, I adore the Lord of the Rings. It's like one of my favourite things. And this is the only, really, the only Lord of the Rings set I still have on display. And obviously it's from The Hobbit, not even The Lord of the Rings, because I adore The Hobbit. And the moment they announced the Lego Lord of the Rings sets, I just knew I wanted a Hobbiton uh, Shire Bag End set. And when they finally released it, I had to grab it. This one, the oldest shell. This is one of the oldest sets still in my display, as you can see from how dusty it is. And I've got this sort of presented as Gandalf first saying hello to Bilbo. Bilbo looking quite confused. And then up here we have the Great Hall um, set, the newest one from the new Harry Potter line. I've got the kids waiting there to go in. How? Um, I've forgotten his name. His name, you know, if someone talks about names all day, I'm really bad with names. Hagrid, it's just come back to me. Hagrid introducing them. And the teachers of the set, let me just see if I can get them in there. Waiting to greet them as well. So something I wanted to do with my new display is have more minifigures present. So when I had this on display initially, I had um, Quirrell hiding at the back there. But I've actually got more on display here. And the um, basilisk that comes with this set, I've got sort of like Snoopy around the end there. This is a set I really adore. Me and my girlfriend built this one together because she's a big Harry Potter fan. So this was really nice to build about building this together. It was just really nice to build a Lego set with someone. And then as we go away from the licensed sets, we have the more like generic Lego sets. There's the big brick built pirate that I've talked about in the past. My huge um, Black Sea Barracuda. Now this is most likely the older set in my display. As you can see from how dusty it is, I need to dust so much of this. Yeah, you see from the sails as well how dusty this is as well. Captain Redbeard in the back there, not wanting to focus. Yeah, he's focused enough. I'm sure you know what he looks like. And then, of course, over here I have Old Kirk's house with my sig fig on there. Um, that takes like centre stage in the entire display, so I, I kind of enjoy that thing so much. It's right 
top and centre. Statue of Liberty up there, we've talked about that in the past as well, with the unique face, not the one that comes with the instructions. There's a video all on that. So down here we start to have more of like um, a display sort of going on. So this is the old fishing store, probably one of my favourite Lego sets ever. One, The set that really got me back into Lego, I'd say, in more recent years. Um, everything's sort of on display, there's only one seagull, not the three it comes with, obviously, because the other two are down with Yoda. Stop it now. The uh, lady playing with the cat there, the captain sort of standing outside the store. And also I recently got this set, the um, River Houseboat set. And what I love about this is how well it ties in colour-wise with the old fishing store. So that same sort of like pale greeny blue and brown theme going on so i've attached those two sets together there's the daughter taking a picture of the pelican this comes with uh this set but i sort of attached it to here just to make it more of a complete theme and then the dad at the back catching a fish and getting spotted by having a hungry alligator come his way you can see how scared he is he doesn't expect that alligator to come get him but yeah that's just like a real set i want um i really enjoy it. i want to make more of this uh shelf like a complete sort of uh, beach sea theme. There's like the old Creator 3 in 1 lighthouse, so you can get the killer whale. I want to sort of put this around here as well. I think that would look really nice all together. And then down here, we have like a sort of like a Lego City uh, theme, just not too much of it. I love this uh, new hospital, so I had to grab that. Um, and there that is there. Got the new parents coming out, and this doctor wheeling this guy out of the hospital because he's all okay now. Got the uh, helicopters just landed over there. And then over here we have like the street food section. So um, got the Lego City pizza uh, van there. And the lady there just about to send off some pizzas. And the uh, that's not actually a licensed set. That's from the Lego movie. It's one of those sort of two-in-one ones. But I've only ever have it built. I've only ever had it built as an ice cream set, uh, as a uh, ice cream van, because um, I really like ice cream vans. And as you can see here, the ambulance is there, but the driver isn't in. And the door's wide open. And that's because the ambulance driver and her uh, passenger are both enjoying a bit of pizza and a bit of ice cream. Because even though he's in real moral, pe moral uh, peril, he could die any moment. No, he probably won't. I think he's okay. He's all bandaged up. They still had time to eat some pizza and ice cream before they go into the hospital. I sort of just set that up as a little sort of funny bit there. Because everyone enjoys ice cream and pizza really, don't they? And then, oh, I'm just getting up. Sorry, my old knees aren't as good as they used to be. We have the... Uh, Saturn 5 set. This used to be over the other side, but now it's over here. And yeah, I absolutely adore this set as well. I've got all the sort of bits on display. Got the micro figs there with um the like Lunar Lander. Let me just get that more in line. Just there. And then the the bit they came back to Earth on there. And that's just a very nice uh, piece to have on display. It looks good either way. My old house I had it displayed vertically, standing upright, but it looks really good to be uh, displayed this way as well. It can look really cool when you look at it sort of that way. I guess this sort of little area is like America land because I've got like two icons of America in that sort of bit together. But anyway, onto the last shelf here. And this is probably the least complete shelf, I would say. I have my two uh, modulars connected together uh, with a bit of like, I guess, supposed to be road here. So there's a movie premiere going on. These two are the stars sort of waving hello. Got the journalist there. I've used some other minifigures I had lying around sort of display everyone gathering around, the crowd gathering around, the two, uh, the police officer and the barber, the female police officer, uh, from uh, the detective's office set, which is just here. And you've got the two guys at the bar who have popped out to um, see what was going on before they go back in to have their drinks and play some more pool and darts. Oh, my voice is going, I'm walking around crouching too much. And over here you've got the uh, guy wait, letting them in, and you've got two little minifigures back there waiting to see what's going on as well. And yep, here's the detective's office. That's sort of just displayed as is. The only sort of thing is the detective and his dame sort of looking off into the distance, trying to solve the mystery. And then the final shelf I sort of have ready is this sort of smaller shelf down here. Um, what I've got down here at the moment are sort of like my loose minifigures I enjoy. These are minifigures I've got either just from like uh, minifigure collections, a couple from uh, Lego Dimensions, and just minifigures who I had sets from and the sets are now like broken up, so I've just got them display down here. So you've got Hades, that we looked at before, Doctor Doom, and that's from the Daily Bugle set. Uh, Gollum, I said my uh, Lord of the Ring, I think I've forgotten their names. Gollum, Sam, and Frodo from the uh, Shalob set I had a while back, and I just wanted to have them on display. And I've even got like a different Bilbo in the background there being all scared. 
and yeah, these three are from LEGO Dimensions. I'm not actually the biggest uh, DC fan, but I bought this like LEGO Dimensions bundle off of eBay a few years back. And these guys came with it as well as some other ones. I've just got them on display there as well. And of course, a little SpongeBob there, just um, because I love SpongeBob, I had that minifigure lying around. And then over here, we have my smaller set. I made a whole video about these uh, awesome smaller LEGO sets. And I just wanted them on more prominent display. So my aim for this shelf is to have like minifigures over this side and like smaller uh, sets over here. And then finally we have this bottom shelf where unfortunately we've had a um, a lost victim. This ship is um, the Spanish Armada ship, I believe. Um, I don't really know what to do with it. I don't really want it on display. So for now, bless it, it's just sitting there all broken. I'm going to find something to, somewhere to put it or like something to do with it. Old Kirk's house on the Old Kirk's house is a, is a box underneath there. I haven't got the heart to throw away that box like I normally do. Then over here, these are some extra boxes full of like rogue Lego pieces. And of course, up here I've got my issues of Brick Fanatic just hiding there. Maybe they'll find a better home. I kind of like them just being a part of that. So yeah, that's everything. Oh my god, my knees are aching from that squatting I've been doing from uh showing you around here. You can tell I don't work out enough. I should get some more squats in. Well, I probably will do now. So yeah, that's the complete uh, Lego shelves at the moment. I'm sure they will update. Of course, things will be added to them. The exciting thing is that there's still quite a bit of space to add some more stuff to, which is good for me, not so good for my wallet. I think that's everything for now, guys. Take care.